Well, howdy diddly dandy there, Chums, tis I, Captain of the Steves, and today, Chums, I'm going to be doing a review, a synopsis, an overview of the latest expedition, Liquidators, where we go hunting bugs for liberty and democracy <laughs> of the universe. Well, uh, yeah, <laughs> there's a little bit of that in it. It does feel very Helldiver-esque. Anyway... This is not my normal legacy save that I'm in right now. This is my creative sort of side save over on PlayStation 5. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and claim all the expedition rewards, mainly because my other legacy save is still inside of the expedition. And I want to do all the side quests and that. So there we go. Anyway, let's go into here. Let's claim this guy. I'm fairly sure that's not the right icon for him. We've got the Chitin Flight Pack. Exoskeleton, Mandibles, Gauntlets, Spurs. And we've got all these lovely posters. We've got these head trophies for a base. So we're going to go stick these in a base. And we've got a lovely decal. Another decal. Or a banner. And that's all the Adrift stuff there. I haven't claimed them on this save. But it's mainly to you know do a review of this latest Liquidators. So yeah, I won't be doing that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up inside of the appearance modifier, make myself all chitin-esque, I'm going to go to a base, put all those trophies in, and then we're going to hatch that egg. So I'll be right back with you, because we're going to start off with the end of this expedition, and we're going to be talking about the rewards of the expedition. Well, here we go, chums. Look, I've got my new chitin armour on. I look like the Predator. It actually looks pretty darn cool. I might, I might keep this look inside of this. Look at the legs. A little bit spindly, but even still, pretty nice. Here's the posters, so I've adorned them on my walls. Got a load of little bugs and stuff, and the teepee pegs. Heck yes. Then up here I've put up my trophies. My bug head trophies! Nice! Heck yes, and over on this side I've got the other ones. They all look freaking great. They really do. Okay, well, I'm going to call in my, um, my exomech. Now, we are to get a new exomech during this expedition. But it's like a, a collaboration thing. Oh, OK, he's got stuck up there. I don't know why. I'm supposed to launch out of the roof. It was supposed to look really cool. I guess I've changed that slightly. Meow! Anyway, there we go. I'm out of my exomech. And this is my base that I've got here. It's like an ED-209. Let me um, let me just turn this into daytime in camera mode. So you can see my lovely base. So it's like a, a mech warrior type base, you know? I was hoping to get insects on here and to have it like one of those planets that's like a, a Val spawn planet. No such luck. But I might have to build something like this on one of those Val brood planets and have like a little hunting type lodge. Yeah, pretty darn nice. I like the base parts. I like the idea of just going and hunting some evil insects from time to time. Not that we're going to get many rewards outside of the expedition, though, you know? Oh, jumps are called in my living ship. This is still the same planet, and this is in the daytime. And look what I've just spotted. There are giant insects on this planet. Heck yes. I might have to go and tame that one in a bit. But he looks quite cool over there, doesn't he? It's like a rhino beetle or something. Very awesome. Like, yeah. I'm going to scan him. There we go. I'm going to have one of them as my pet soon. In fact, I might just go grab him now. Let's uh, do a run, skip and jump. Let's go get him. Yeah, I'm on my way, little beetle dude. Oh no. Okay. And uh, let's go pet him. Oi! Come here. I haven't got hardly any pets on this save. There we are. Interact. And um, adopt as companion. That's weird. You could ride it without actually adopting it as a companion. Sweet! I now have my beetly pet. Oh, it's very cool, isn't he? Nice. Well, I mean, that is one beetly pet. But we've actually been gifted through the expedition. And oh, look, there's one right over there by my ship. I didn't have to come all the way over here. All right, well, I'll go back over to where my ship is and then I'll reconvene. That! I mean, something I have to point out is this chitin armor set looks so good with this living organic ship and i'm really wondering whether we might have this chitin race added into no man's sky a little bit like we've got the autophages but what if they did and they all fly around in ships like this that'd be pretty darn cool anyways that aside we've also been given a new egg as a pet so let's hatch this guy 
Chicka boom. Oh, look at him. He's cute. He's tiny. He's wondrous. There you go. Have that, my little friend. Oh, he's, he's too small to ride. But, oh, he's so cute, isn't he? Hello. Ha <laughs> ha. So that's all the rewards for this expedition. Now, I think the rewards for this expedition are really quite cool. Now, I haven't actually seen the Exomech because that is you know, a reward that's going to come later. We're going to unlock it in parts. So that's something that I still need to take a look at and review. But for now, this expedition, I think, is probably one of the most fun expeditions I've been on. It's it's had lots of combat and it's very combat focused and it was a lot of fun. I don't think there was anything that was overly too grindy. The taking out of four Sentinel Walkers, maybe that was a little bit, a little bit too much there. I think maybe if it stopped at two, that might have been better. But yeah, it was still fun because I actually played around with different realms of combat. It's like the first time I did the combat, I actually did it in on, on foot. The second time I did combat, I did it inside of the Exomech. And I also took out the Sentinel using different weapon attachments. I used the Pulse Spitter once with the fire attachment. Other time I used the Scatter Blaster. I had a lot of fun playing around with weapons and damage numbers and all that sort of shenanigans. And I haven't done that in any other expedition. So you know what? I thought this expedition was great. The prizes were great. I think all round this expedition was great. I had a few odd bugs, which I'll put on the screen for you now. And I'm not about the bug we went to hunt. I'm on about bug bugs, like, you know, technical issue bugs. Now, chums, I'm getting really weird graphical issues. Like, see that planet over there? It's got a big yellow triangle going through it. And now look, it just changed. Just whilst, look, look at that. Getting some really weird graphical glitches, especially on this expedition page. This side over here keeps going really weird. All sorts of weird graphics appearing in there. Yeah, so a couple of, I mean, none of them were game breaking. None of them were mission breaking. So as far as bugs go, it was just graphical. Didn't really impair me at all. So for that reason, because I didn't have any game crashes, I didn't have any mission blockers, progress hang ups, nothing. I'm going to give this a solid 10. 10 out of 10. Freaking awesome. I mean, the actual lore itself. Although it was just around being part of the vanguard and a cleaner. The way it ends, I don't want to say too much, but it does make you think, oh my days. Because you kind of think, well, you know, the ramifications of that. <laughs> if they are to introduce a new chitin race, we now know how they came about, basically in premise. I don't want to give too much away, but yeah, if you're still running this expedition, Make sure you read all the sort of like notes that pop up on the screen. I know it's a text adventure, but it's a good one. Yeah, anyway, look, it's getting dark. So I've obviously been talking too long. So yeah, 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10 for this expedition. Let me know. Do you think it was worth a solid 10 out of 10? Sound off in the comments. Let me know. I have not had this much fun running an expedition since maybe the Endurance Polestar expedition where we started on the freighter. I really enjoyed that one as well. But th this was another level, I think and the prizes and everything else it just feels so on point and now i'm going to be using my exomech far more than i used to it's actually a really decent tool and i can't wait to get the new exomech with the flamethrower attachment and see what it's capable of till next time goodbye goodbye and goodbye again oh oh oh, oh seven heck yes here we go like and subscribe we have just hit 45 My latest YouTube backers, Dollar Dad Cast, Corvax Cal, Alex Kufrusum, Stone 6765, Lone Wolf 71. Thank you to my latest backers on Patreon. Spotty Badger, Soft Marie, CPT, Cos, or Ominous Cons. Oh, 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 seven, thank you, yes, here we go. Please like and subscribe. Backers on Patreon, Spotted Badger, Self Maurice, CPT Gorn, Sir Ominous Cotton.